Elizabeth told them they were just a trifle and ordered them to leave immediately. But suddenly, a scythe tore into Elizabeth's body, catching her by surprise. She wondered what had just happened. This was the work of number 7777, Cartoon Death, a one-star demon king. He used his soul snatching scythe to extract Elizabeth's soul from her body. This was his special skill once hit. The target's level could be ignored, and the soul could be directly extracted. He laughed as he pulled her soul out. However, Cartoon Death misjudged the situation. Elizabeth, even in her soul form, grabbed his neck, leaving him speechless. Furious, she demanded, Who ordered you to do this? Tell me now, and perhaps I'll let you die quickly. For the first time, Cartoon Death felt the fear of death. He, the mighty death who terrified everyone, couldn't believe he was now the one trembling in fear. He was so scared that he reverted to his original card form. The one who summoned Cartoon Death realized it was useless. Even soul extraction couldn't harm Elizabeth. Meanwhile, Elizabeth's soul returned to her body. After fighting the enemy, she realized something. Even if you didn't tell me, I could have guessed it. This is clearly Le Ping's aura, she wondered. Could it be that this visit to the elf tribe was another one of his carefully planned games? Elizabeth grew even angrier as she thought. It's one thing to test them, but to include me in this? You arrogant Le Ping, you'd better remember I am a chess player sitting at the table like you, not a chess piece on the board. Summoning her demonic hands, she tore apart the space-time where the enemies were hiding. She warned them, if you know what's good for you, commit suicide quickly. Otherwise, if I get serious, you'll die a far more miserable death. However, the enemy laughed at Elizabeth, telling his partner, Look at her, she talks so big. The other one reassured him, Don't worry, let's see if she can get out. Elizabeth realized, This is Cartoon Maze, number 8888, another one-star demon king. So, this is what has trapped me here. Whatever Le Ping created, even if it wasn't of high magical level, always had the special effect of enabling the weak to defeat the strong. Elizabeth used just a bit of her strength to knock on the structure of the cartoon maze, shattering it. She emerged from the maze, mocking her enemies, saying, Two ignorant fools. The enemy was enraged by Elizabeth's arrogance. One of them, the cartoon queen, a five-star demon king, declared to her partner, It's enough for me to handle her. The cartoon king, a peak demon king, sitting on his throne, responded, Then I'll leave it to you, queen. I look forward to your victory. Elizabeth confronted them, summoning her demonic hand and using it as a throne to sit on. She addressed the cartoon king, Calling yourself a king in front of me? You're not qualified yet. The cartoon king, now furious, ordered his queen, Kill this ignorant fool. The cartoon queen launched her cards, summoning a peak demon king, Cartoon Dagger. However, Elizabeth paid them no mind, telling them, Shut up and go to hell. She launched an attack toward them, but the cartoon queen summoned a magic circle, swift wings, and easily destroyed Elizabeth's attack. The queen counterattacked with her ace, Kill. Elizabeth effortlessly blocked the attack with just one finger, as if snapping a bug. She noticed, however, that the attack actually broke one of her nails. Not bad, she remarked, praising the cartoon queen. As the cartoon queen prepared to attack Elizabeth again, suddenly, the ball monsters she had killed before started moving towards her, ready to attack. Surprised, the cartoon queen wondered how they were still alive. As they were about to strike, she swiftly cut them both in half. Thinking she was finally done, the ball monsters multiplied again and attacked her from behind. Shocked, the cartoon queen wondered what was happening. She used her cartoon dagger to slice them into pieces once more, but the ball monsters kept recovering and multiplying, relentlessly attacking her. Annoyed and frustrated, the cartoon queen wondered what kind of magic these bullets possessed. She continuously slaughtered them, but they kept multiplying and attacking. Finally, she used her ace, critical hit, to finish them off for good. 
However, the cartoon queen was shocked when she saw that her attack had no effect on the proliferation magic bullet. In fact, the number of magic bullets grew even more. Elizabeth mocked her, saying, For someone like you, magic bullets are more than enough. She commanded the magic bullets to attack the queen, and with their help, Elizabeth destroyed the cartoon queen's body and retrieved the cartoon dagger cards. She thought to herself, so many tricks, all designed for the weak to defeat the strong. Suddenly, something began to absorb Elizabeth's magic bullets. The cartoon queen, whose body had been torn apart by the magic bullets, was still alive. She summoned an incredibly powerful monster that devoured all of Elizabeth's magic bullets. This monster was number 9999, Cartoon Dinosaur, a two-star demon king. Seeing this, Elizabeth realized that these were the queen's last two cards one for magic absorption and the other for resurrection. The cartoon queen then summoned number 6666, Cartoon Aquarius, a one-star demon king, which quickly healed her. Furious, she shouted at Elizabeth, You think you can kill me so easily? Prepare to suffer the consequences, you arrogant woman. However, the cartoon dinosaur began to struggle after absorbing so many magic bullets. The chaos within his body was too much for him to handle, and he could barely keep it together. Unable to hold it any longer, he launched the magic bullets back at Elizabeth. This was his special skill cartoon dinosaurs can re-emit absorbed magic skills at twice the original amount. But this was no big deal for Elizabeth. She effortlessly stopped the attack, leaving the cartoon dinosaur in shock. He couldn't believe she had stopped it so easily. The cartoon queen was equally surprised, wondering how this could be possible. Elizabeth explained, As long as it's a move created by me, even if you magnify it a hundred times, it won't harm me at all. She then began casting a spell, Severe Punishment and crushed both the Cartoon Queen and Cartoon Dinosaur. The pressure was so intense that the Cartoon Dinosaur's body was torn into pieces. Seeing the power of her magic trick, Elizabeth felt truly satisfied. Although the inspiration for this magic trick came from that stupid dog, she thought, it has to be said that the effect is very impressive. The Cartoon Dinosaur returned to his card form, and there were many other cards, but Elizabeth noticed that there was no queen card among them. As she wondered about this, the cartoon queen suddenly attacked her from behind. Elizabeth dodged the attack, but the queen didn't stop there, she continued to launch attacks. Despite her efforts, none of them worked, and the queen was shocked. By the time she realized what was happening, it was already too late Elizabeth had split her body in two. Elizabeth transformed into her demon queen form and used a powerful slash technique, saying, Stop nagging. I'll just be a little more serious. However, the cartoon queen used Aquarius, and her body began to regenerate. Seeing this, Elizabeth realized, no action is required from the main body. As long as the main body is killed, resurrection magic will automatically activate, and the rebirth point can be selected within a certain range. The cartoon queen confidently told Elizabeth, You can't kill me. But Elizabeth summoned her demonic hands and used absolute confinement to restrict the queen's movement. Elizabeth smiled and said, First, I'll limit your resurrection point within my restricted range, and then I'll play with you slowly. Elizabeth then used the punishment of dissolution and began tearing the queen apart slowly. However, the cartoon queen healed herself with a drop of dew, saying, It's no use. I only need a drop of dew from the bottle to revive. She mocked Elizabeth, explaining, The magic space in the bottle is connected to the entire ocean, providing an endless amount of water. How long will your magic last? But Elizabeth didn't care. She cast poisonous punishment, and the cartoon queen began crying out in pain. Elizabeth didn't stop there, she unleashed a series of punishments, including water punishment, skinning punishment, thousand needle punishment, tear punishment, and thunder punishment. The cartoon queen screamed in agony, but Elizabeth coldly told her, the various injuries you receive in absolute confinement will continue to accumulate and stack. Let's see how long you can last. 
As Elizabeth continued her relentless assault, the bottle of Aquarius began to wither, unable to revive the queen any longer. The cartoon queen died instantly. Elizabeth smiled and said, When infinite resurrection turns into infinite pain, your spirit will naturally wither, and you will choose to give up. Now, only one opponent remained the cartoon king. 